New York Dan here for the Ben's Products channel. Guess what? I just got a lift from my garage. And um, when I say garage, I'm not going to pretend I have a shop and show you uh, my Toyota out there like some other channels. I'm going to be honest with you. It's just a freaking garage here. And I have to shoehorn in any projects I'm doing in and out of here. In the past, you see me use cement blocks. I put cars up. I've modified jacks to handle transmissions, the whole bit. Well, now, I don't think these were around. I have not seen them before. They have these new ramps. I'm going to show you this in one cut here because that's how professional I am. These ramps, you probably have seen these. Maybe you found them already on Amazon. You thinking about buying them? Well, I ordered them, and uh, it cost me a, a bit over two Benjamins. There's many of these on there, and it's a bit confusing. Some of them say they're rated for more. I've seen some that say six tons. I've seen some that say ten tons, which that would be enough to do like my E three fifty, my uh, van heavy duty van I'm not so sure though um, unless they're made where they're so heavy that you could just about lift them up I don't think that's gonna work so the concept is you see this bottle jack here this is what they give you this one says three ton that's a real narrow you know this is a it's not an expensive jack let's put it that way but you got two of them, okay? You put them down here, and the concept is you drive your car up, the front tires go on these pads. The jacks go under the pad. There's one on each side, obviously, for the tires. And this is what the pad looks like. I was a little concerned. This metal here is pretty damn thin. They did put a reinforcement here for the jack to lift. Uh, the welds on here, like this plate, which stops your car from rolling off of the pad, it just has three welds on it, three little welds. Now, I hope that I don't have to like get my grinder out and start re-welding these ramps or grinding the metal down and doing more welds each part of the ramp here you can see it has a little weld on it I left this out for a few days it started to rust obviously um, so if you storm outside you might want to coat these with some rust-oleum first oh, what they did they made it out of this angle iron you can see how thin that is so you just turned it on its side well welded each iron down to make like a tread for the thing to drive up uh, your car to drive up on the jack itself I'm gonna point something out here I get their idea it comes with this jack there's two holes there to put the bolts down through to like hold the jack down I don't think you really need to do that and I'm just going to put the jack down here probably because two factors. If you put the jack, if you bolt it down, when you want to store this thing, it's going to be extra heavy having this, this thing weighs a little bit. Secondly, I screwed myself over because I bolted this down to the wood. I drilled holes in it, screwed it down to the wood. And now I can't get underneath here, which was real smart. I used two pieces of plywood. Anyway, it turns out I'm not really too sad about that and I'm not going to do anything about it because I want to be able to move these ramps around without... Also, I'm not sure with this kind of a bottle jack if you should really be dumping it over to store it, but I'm going to show you what I just found out. This is what they give you, the bolts to secure the jack to the ramp. They give you a setup like this. It has a washer, a nut, and a bolt. Okay, these, 
uh, jacks, it looks like they improvised them and they screwed holes in them like that, right? Well, here's what I just noticed. No matter which way you do it, if you put the nut in, not the nut, the bolt, it only goes in this far because it's too close to the the jack the way they drilled the hole there's not enough metal there to really do it to even bolt it down and then on the other side if you put it in there it bolts down but it doesn't sit straight there's not enough room for this to sit so what you do is you end up having it crooked and I'm not so sure how good that's going to be. And there, obviously there's no way that the, um, the nut doesn't even fit there. And it's sure there's no freaking way to fit the nut here either. There's not enough room. There's like zero clearance for this to line up or fit there. So basically, I don't know if they ever test... I don't know why they bothered even drilling those holes there because their concept doesn't even work. You'd have to use different hardware. If you got thinner nuts and bolts, you might be able to fit them in there. But I don't think it's going to make that big a difference. And like I said, now you can take the jack out when you're not using it. If you want to like move these ramps, if you want to stack them upright. So that's the concept you drive it up and then this thing you can adjust you've seen these bottle jacks you can adjust the lift on there once you get the car up you just start jacking both sides and then what i'm talking about it's like if you have a tight garage like me you lift these ramps up and you can store them like vertically you know now, the concept is, and they don't weigh that much. The wood weighs a lot. If you do this, you know, you can obviously make it go up higher the more wood you put on here to stack it, but it's going to get heavier and heavier to lift. So, and um, it's all experimental too. Then you put these pins in on each side to lock in the pad. I guess it's a safety pin uh, when you get the car fully jacked up. I would put, let me tell you, number one, I accept no liability for anything I do. This is um, proceed at your own risk, entertainment only. That's where those pins go. Okay, I put wood on here. That's an experiment. My concept is when I drive the car up, the wood will give it more grip. I have a bit of a slippery garage floor here. These ramps, I don't know how much I trust them. I hope they hold the Mustang. That car is pretty small. It has a 4.6 V8, but it has aluminum heads. It shouldn't be that heavy. Um... Anything, if you do it, be careful. Do anything uh, with these ramps at your own risk. I'm going to put like a cement block or tree stump under the car, maybe. Piece of like a thick wood. Just to, as a safety measure, so to speak. When I'm working under there. Um, yeah, all this stuff here. This Route 66 stuff. I'm going to be doing an automotive live cast. I did a short on that. One of those YouTube shorts. I'm going to be doing an automotive live cast. Coming up on my channel. And. Let me. Try to mix it up here. Make it more professional. So. Um, yeah. I actually. that It came to me. When I was doing the sub coverage this week. I was realized, okay, there's a way to do a live cast on YouTube, and I watch a lot of those anyway. So I figured out you need a different kind of camera 
this digital Sony is great camera. I wish I could work it. I don't believe it'll work for live. So anyway, I got a new camera and I'm setting up like, that's why I got that those signs. I'm setting up a bit of a studio for the live cast. Um, I have to do it where I have a really good Wi-Fi signal because it's broadcasting as, you know, right as I do it. And I can do a live chat stream so you can ask me your questions about car repair. It's going to be like car repair, travels, Route 66 stuff, anything cool like that. I like doing road trips and it's kind of like, you know, the old show Car Talk. It's going to be something like that. And instead of calling in, we'll do it over the live stream, the chat. I might have a few people call in that uh, I know, people that I know will have them on the show, like guests. Um, but I've actually had people find my number when I was doing my repair videos. And they've called my cell phone up, which is kind of a, a little bit a little bit uh, creepy in a way. Um, they've had to, to ask me about like car repairs or Mercedes stuff. So this way I can actually do it right live over YouTube, a much better way to do it. And um, we'll do like a car repair show and I'll try to do it like every week. So in the next couple of weeks, I hope to get started on this to get the first um, episode. I'll put up a notice the way it works, I found from the sub thing, you put up a notice when you're going to do the live stream. It tells your subscribers um, when the show is going to start, the time and date. I'll set it. I'll try to give everyone a good amount of notice, like five days to a week, something like that, when we're going to do it. And it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I already did the live stream with the sub updates. And it worked. Everything worked with that. It was kind of an experiment. So I already have the um, equipment ready to go. Now I just I'm going to use a better microphone and doing some try to try to do it a little bit professional here, at least so it's uh it's decent to go. And I'm trying to find out how to cast the screen, um, like if I want to do stuff over the web, I'm going to be. I'm going to be showing stuff that's like on the web as well. Other things on the web that as I want car related stuff, I want to be able to show that. So there's a few things to work out, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be, it should be a real blast to do. It should be fun. So um, if you want to watch it, I would subscribe to the channel and put that notification icon or bell on and then it will give you the info because a small channel like mine, you're not going to know when anything's going to happen. If you've managed to find my video, um, if you don't subscribe to it, you're not going to see anything that happens on this channel. You won't be able to find it again. It'll be uh, lost. So just um, do the subscribe deal. And it doesn't uh, cost any money either. It's free, totally free. So you got nothing to lose. Um, and let's see. That, yep, yeah, that pretty much got it covered here. And I'm sweating away here in New York, even though I'm doing this like at midnight. It's like one of those real humid nights. Very high humidity. Like it's like 78 degrees out here. And uh, I used to put, I might have to break out one of those air conditioners and put it in my... Uh, shop so to speak I can put it in that window there get my shop air conditioned in case customers bring their car in here so anyway I'll see you in the live cast or the next video so for uh, Ben's products this is New York Dan signing off